keeping the tools as sharp as possible is integral to a fine woodworking practice. So you need to invest in some sharpening gear and that should be one of your earliest investments. So this is the equipment we use here at the workshop and I'm very happy to recommend it to my students uh, because I've been trying it for years now and I know it works uh, very well. I'll begin by some general advice for you. Uh, you should learn to love sharpening and make it an important part of your practice just as much as dovetailing for instance. So it should be efficient, it should be comfortable, it should be easy and for that it's best to have a dedicated sharpening station like this one where everything is set up and you can go and sharpen with ease. This black rubber here it's quite inexpensive, it's uh, impermeable and it will keep your stones from sliding around and you can also clean it very quickly with water. So it's a good idea to cover your whole station with that and you can make a mess and uh, it will be okay. Japanese water stones like this one here are a great option and they will give you a very sharp edge in no time at all. This one is uh, King which is a very affordable brand and I recommend it to my students because as a first investment it's a, it's a very good value for the money. It will give you an excellent sharp edge and uh, they work very well. One of the major drawbacks to me is that you need to keep them wet. You need to soak them in water 10 minutes before you start working and then you need to constantly apply water and that makes for a, a bit of a messy uh, sharpening. Uh, you get all the slurry and um, it's not as convenient as I would like it but it works uh, very well. I only use the three bevel method as it was taught by the late great David Chasworth and uh, I found it over the years to be the best the best practice uh, possible so that that's what I recommend to you and um, for that you will need a couple of stones a medium grid which would be around 800 1000 and then a super fine grid which could be from 6000 on okay um, and the idea here, I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on sharpening, but uh, I'll give you some idea of how it works. So I'll put the chisel into my guide. So that's a good honing guide by Dictum. It's quite affordable and it will hold most of your chisels and plain blades. So it's a good starter. And I'm working on the middle bevel to erase the finest bevel, which is the one that will be uh, forming the sharp edge. So that was six strokes and I can already feel a burr. I have completely destroyed the finer bevel or tertiary bevel as some call it. And now I can raise up a few degrees to form a new tertiary bevel, which will create the cutting edge. And for that only a few strokes, usually two, three strokes, it's plenty enough. Two, three. And there you go. That's done. So it's been about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds at the most. And now we only need to work on the flat side at the finer stone to remove the burr. And that's it. Only two stones, it's all you need to get a razor sharp chisel. Okay, and of course you can get them as a combination stone. I have here one which is 1000, 6000 and it will give you everything you need to get started. Of course, as you progress, you might want to get a finer honing stone and uh, you will notice uh, a difference. However, the, the medium stone, the 800-1000 grit, you can use almost any one out there and they will work for you because their only mission is to remove material quickly. Japanese water stones get out of flat very quickly and you will need to keep flattening them all the time. And the more often you do it, the, the easier it will be, the less work it will be. So 
you should be disciplined about this and uh, everything will be okay. I flatten my stones every three sharpenings. For that I employ wet and dry sandpaper on a fine granite stone. It's rectified so I know it's dead flat and I can just place it and rub it and once all the pencil marks are gone, which is as quickly as that, if your stone is rel relatively uh, flat already, so uh, then you know uh, you've done the job. I have a superior set of ceramic stones by Shapton here and as you can see they have a glass substrate that will keep them flat and it will allow you to use them right up to the glass. So you have here almost a, a lifetime of work of sharpening. So it's a good long-term investment as well. Those as I was saying, they don't need to be soaked in water. You only spray them and that's, that's that. That's all you need. Okay, so we can get another chisel. For me that I do a lot of sharpening, um, not having to soak the waters and do all this uh, water thing, it's, uh, it's very convenient really. So that is a 100 grit stone, that would be the medium stone which you use on your secondary bevel or middle bevel. And you just spray it and away we go. And it will erase all trace of the finer bevel which contained the, the dull edge. And I can feel straight away some burr, so that's done here. And now I can change to a 16,000 grit stone to work on the tertiary bevel, which is going to create the sharp edge that we're after. So a few degrees above 30. And as always, here we do only a few strokes. One, two, maybe three. And that's all you need. These stones do the job so fast, it's amazing. You will see right away all these metal particles being released as black stains and um, they are incredibly efficient. Ceramic of course is, a, is very very hard and that's why they uh, perform that efficiently. So now I'm going to work on the flat side just to remove the burr. And as you can see, I've been using the holder here, which it's quite heavy and it will give you some support and uh, it will stop the stones from sliding around. Although you could go straight on here on this rubber and it will work just as well. So these ceramic stones are the most advanced professional option that I know of and if you have deep pockets it's the way to go definitely. They are very convenient, they work super fast and they are very hard and they will take some time um, before losing flatness. But uh, you should be careful with that because of course reflattening them uh, can be a little bit uh, difficult. What kept me for years from buying these is that I thought I would need a special diamond stone uh, from the same brand and this is very very expensive. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you now that you can really flatten those stones in no time at all with wet and dry sandpaper. Of course the sandpaper is going to go ruined very quickly and I have to replace it every three flattenings more or less but still is a reasonably priced option that works very well for me. So I'll use a brand new sheet of paper which comes already cut and that's uh, very nice as well. And you will see right away the white particles being removed and left in the water. So you can see all the white slurry in the sandpaper and no pencil marks. So I know this is flat and that's what works for me. 
So those are the two options that I can recommend to you. On one hand, the King Water Stones, which are a uh, very good value for the money. They will give you razor sharp edges and uh, they make a, a good starter kit. Or you can go to the most advanced sharpening system out there, in my opinion, which would be these uh, ceramic glass stones by Shapton. So, I hope you find this helpful. See you around.